Hey everyone, what's up? Hey, Mike here. Hey, today I'm going to show you how to create a custom Illustrator document profile. And what I mean by that is, well, let's close this out, is when you open up Illustrator for the first time and you have all of these profiles to select from, um, we're going to make a new one that's going to add to that list. So, first things first. Uh, what you need to do is you need, need to be able to locate where these files at so you can save uh, what you just created and in that is your library folder in your home user uh, portion of your hard drive now there isn't a library here so what we need to do is actually download an app to show it because it's hidden so go to TRC data recovery and there's a free app that's revealer app it's free download it it works great this will prevent you from having to open up terminal and copy and paste in code that's all this does so it's a nice little tool and I just keep it around just in case so we're gonna open that up and I'm in just the show library part and show it and here we go there it is so let's browse through this file structure and find out where our new document profiles are so we'll go to the library application support we go to Adobe Illustrator 17 English and right down here is our new document profiles and this is what pops up when we first start up Illustrator so and we had to know where this is so when we create our new profile this is where it'll get saved into so we can close out of revealer real quick and so let's go to Illustrator and let's make our new profile. So you can just start opening up a generic whatever layout because we're going to change everything anyways. So first things first, I like to have my rulers set up just, just because I don't know why I'm just funny that way. Um, so we already did that. Um, you can change them to whatever you want. These are by default points. Uh, we're gonna, I'm just going to change them to inches just, just to show you. Uh, we're going to change this artboard size too real fast. So uh, let's say if you're running like on a laser bed like I do at work, it's you know 36 by I think 24 inches. Um, so well, oh. That's what it was doing. Okay, change that back. We'll zoom out just to show you. So here is our new artboard size. Uh, and so that was just some pretty basic stuff. But now, what I think people want to always have ready to go for them is like their fill and their stroke, their stroke weight, uh, their default character size and style and maybe even some you know swatches so I'm gonna show you how to do that so for let's do this first I'm gonna change my fill to none I'm gonna keep the stroke at actually I'm gonna change that to red just to show you keep that at red and I'm gonna change that to 0.25 points so now that we have how we want our starting graphics to work we're gonna draw one so what I just did right here is every time I open up Illustrator this is how I want my default you know primitive objects to lay out in so once we do that I'm gonna highlight that and we actually have to make this a graphic style so we're gonna go to our graphic styles panel and right here is the one that we need to change this is our default graphic style and we need to make it well so it knows that this is what we want to be our default so let's drag this in here you can put it anywhere you want and to change this or to make this our default graphic style we're gonna hold down alt option and we're just gonna hover over it and that's it so now now let's say you're a company and you deal mainly with certain PMS colors or whatever because you deal only with a certain limited amount of materials or you just want to stick to some branding standard standards and you don't want to have to search through let's say a PMS swatch book every single time just to find them so let's say we're doing Pantone 
swatches. And I'm just going to click a whole bunch of these just to so they populate this area. And so that way, you know, like I said, if you deal with certain material colors, you can have these set up ready to go for when you open up your document. So we have populated some swatches in there, and we're gonna I'm just gonna close this out. Close that out too. So now we're going to change our default font. Uh, we're just gonna create. Uh, just gonna have it say hello. I know you can't read that right now, but let's say I always do uh, like a 120 point size and my default style is let's just say it's Helvetica new and this is what I want to use every single time I open up this document just because I like it so what we need to do is we need to make this the default text style so let's go to our character styles I'm gonna highlight that and then we're gonna click on that and as you can see now you have a but the plus sign right here this says hey you know the you clicked on a default character style, but you know that you made some changes to it. So that's what you want. And what we're going to do is click on that box, and we're going to redefine the character style. So now this is our normal character style. So that's ready to go. Uh, you know what? I believe that's pretty much it. But what you can also do with this is say you deal with certain I don't know, object styles, uh, yeah, we're going to delete that. Uh, because you you work with some products and they're in the shape of a star and they're not filled in and, uh, well, I don't know, their corners are always rounded. You know, this is just a default template that you would always, you know, do. And we're going to make that new and I'm not showing you how to make new symbols or anything. I'm actually just showing you how to create the custom profile and what you can do with it and what saves for right now. And we're just going to make that our star. We're going to come back and let's say you deal with uh, other products and you know they they have rounded corners too. We're going to save that. You got some number code to it or whatever. All right, got all that, you know, and I believe that's it. We got our page size to a default size of what we want. We have our stroke and fill set to how we want it to be. Oh, actually, there we go. That's how we want our default stroke fill to be with the, you know, 2.5 points on there. Uh, we have our swatches set up and we have default, you know, uh, symbols or scrapbooks that we use. All right. That's all right. Now we're ready to go. Now, this is how we want this document to open every single time. Because can you imagine having to do that every single time you open up a document? I probably just wasted like five, ten minutes at work. Uh, unacceptable. So now that we got that good, we're going to save this and we're going to save that into our new document profiles. Uh, let's just call this you know, document. All right, we're just going to save it like a normal Illustrator file because that's all that they are. And we're actually we're going to close Illustrator completely. And as you can see, it saved in there. All right. So now let's say you've just gotten to work or you just sat at your workstation and you just want to go bang stuff out and you open up Illustrator. Wait on this. And you have your document right there. All right, and there you go. You have your stroke and your fill saved. You have all the swatches that you wanted, and you have all your symbols, and yep, it worked. Alright, thanks for watching guys, I hope this helps you out. If you have any questions, just email me, 
and I'm going to put a link to the Revealer app in the uh, video summary. Alright, thanks guys. See you later.